So if you're new to Final Cut Pro, the exporting can be a little difficult just because there's so many different kinds of exporting that you can do based on file sizes, types, and everything. There's just a lot to it, and if you're kind of new to Final Cut Pro, then it can be a little difficult and overwhelming. So I'm going to show you guys the best resolution that we can get for Final Cut. So I have a little project open here. It's a video that I did a while ago, but I'm going to show you guys how to export it in the best quality possible. So in order to do this in the Final Cut, make sure you have it selected and go to the export setting and click master file and this is set to the default right away you'll get this little information dialog box that tells you a little bit about your project like the title the tags creator and a few different things down here like 1280 by 720 at 30 fps another thing that it shows us is how big it is when it's going to be exported this is 6.26 gigabytes estimated and this file is only three minutes long so if you have a little bit of a bigger file like 10 minutes maybe even 15 minutes this can be as big as 30 gigabytes and that is massive especially if you don't have the much hard drive space left it can be a little overwhelming and if you just want to get a video out right away you're not too worried about the quality of the video you can go with a little bit less of a resolution and it's not going to affect it too much now I always export at this setting just because I'm very worried about the quality of my videos I like it to be crisp and as best as possible so I export at this setting but in order to change this we need to go to the settings tab in Final Cut and we're gonna be messing around with the video codec now this is what makes the uh, resolution a little bit better this is what makes your video crisp and quality and what I do is Apple ProRes 4444 XQ now if you want to record a video or export a video and you want this to be a little bit of a smaller file size you can go with source Apple ProRes 422 and this will bump it down to a little bit less and this is two gigs so again if you're looking to export a pretty big file I would highly recommend doing a different one but this is something you can do if you're a little bit worried about the file size and not too worried about getting a little bit lower quality now this isn't much of a difference between this but again you will see that possibly if you're uploading it to YouTube or something else but this is the one I use and it bumps it back up to 6.26 now let's say you don't have a lot of hard drive space and you're really worried about it and you don't really care about the quality of the video that much so change the video codec to H264 and this will bump the video down to 341 megabytes this is a lot better than its predecessor at 6.26 gigabytes but again it all depends on who you are what you're uploading the video for and etc so if you're uploading a YouTube video and you want the best quality resolution I would go with Apple ProRes 4444 XQ this will give you a very large file size to depending on the video, but like me, I try to keep my videos a little short and sweet, so it's not too much of a worry, and I always back them up anyways. So if you're looking to do high quality video, I would go with the Apple ProRes. If you're not too worried about losing a little bit of quality, and the file size will be bumped down a good amount, I would recommend uh, Source Apple ProRes 422. And if you're not worried about quality as much as you are, then you can go ahead and choose the H264, and this will bump it down to 341. So once you got that all squared away, you can click Next and save it to wherever you want. I'm just gonna save this like that. And you will see here, now there's no bar indicating where it's exporting except right here. It's gonna show you the percentage that it's at. Right now it's at 23% and it's just gonna keep climbing until it hits 100% and it's gonna save to my desktop. After that's done, it's gonna compress the file into an MOV4 file which you can then upload to YouTube and you can watch it and everything will be good and dandy. And hopefully the file will be pretty nice and crisp depending on what you're using to record and that's pretty much it. So good luck with your recording guys and I really hope that this video did help you and if it did, make sure you subscribe for more awesome videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.